Hi witches and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been some time and I really really want to update you guys and I want to start like posting regularly again possibly every week one video or something. Um, but first like I reanimated like reanimated but like I did the same thing with my first ever YouTube channel, it's a German channel, a few days ago. And I start off with a I'm back video and what to expect and the situation and explaining some things since I've been away. This one is going to be like a little bit less complex, I think. Not less complex, but like easier for me to remember because on the other channel, the last time I uploaded was something around 2016 or 17. So yeah, I don't know where to start because I have no clue where I left off. Um, I plan on making this account right now for now into follow my life kind of deal and I'll give you like an idea of what my life is because it's not good <laughs> I'm actually very emotional at the moment so um, yeah sometimes I'm hyper sometimes I'm very down it depends on the day starting off from a, a perspective of like where this channel came from I have relapsed badly into my eating disorder. Um, what is there to say? I won't go into too much detail, to be honest. I'll probably show you once in a while what I eat, what I buy, whatever. Um, yeah. I am about to finish therapy after long, many years <laughs> because my insurance won't pay anymore. Um, and I will have to, like, get some paperwork done so that I can skip the two year like p like pause phase that we have to do after you come from like a youth therapist and switch to an adult therapist here in Germany. For those who don't know, I live in Germany on the border to Denmark. Um, hi. <coughs> I yeah, can say that I speak German, Danish, English and I learn French at the moment. On off kind of deal, but yeah. Anyway. Um, it's going to be hard to convince an insurance to skip these two years of break and it's going to be hard to find a therapist with my diagnosis. At the end of my therapy, when I finish it, I will be officially diagnosed with the dissociative identity disorder. Right now, I am diagnosed with other specified um, dissociative identity uh, dissociative disorder, but we all know it's DID and not OSDD. I hope I got that right. Other specified disorder. I think, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this diagnosis I got back in 2017 because of an incident that I had in the clinic where it was very obvious to everyone that I have DID, but like they didn't want to like, you know, fully diagnose me back then. But now when I finished my therapy after, let me count, seven or eight years, I think, um, I will officially be, di be diagnosed. My diagnosis include um, like my, my basic diagnosis that I agree with and, and that are like my oldest official ones are like recurring depression, medium to severe episodes because it's chronic. So it, like I have a chronic depression but it's just uh, reoccurring and usually it's like a medium to severe one, but I sometimes get into like a, just a medium, just, just a medium one or like a severe one. Um, I'm diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm diagnosed with atypical anorexia nervosa. I am trying to get the atypical removed because by now I fit the criteria, which is nothing to be achieved. It's just that the cr cr diagnosed criteria here in Germany changed as well. Back then I got the atypical because of like, um, because when I entered the clinic, I just got my period back after four months of not having it. So I was diagnosed with atypical and atypical disorders are usually the most dangerous ever because they usually mean people won't take you seriously enough. So that's a point that I want to make. Um, I'm diagnosed with BPD, so borderline personality disorder. And is there something I forgot? BPD, depression, DID. 
Uh, yeah, I just got diagnosed with this one specific panic disorder that I can't put my fingers on. I also got another disorder that I won't mention here because it's wrong. I'm working on get to get it removed. I'm working on getting like other diagnoses that I was diagnosed with like verbally, but never it was never written down. So I have to go to specialists to get them diagnosed. One of them is the ASPD, the Antisocial Personality Disorder. Um, I am on the spectrum of like in the area of like a psychopath, not a sociopath. So yeah, a medium psychopath from what last tests have been done on me years back. And on the autism spectrum, I'm definitely autistic, but it's not official yet. I'm diagnosed by um, a retired, now, re by now she's retired, a retired uh, psychiatrist. She said it's very likely and that we don't need to put it down because nobody cares. She was a little bit crazy. So like, she was like, nobody cares about written down diagnosis. Well, institutions and whatever, like people do, we need things on paper because if you're mentally ill people tend to not believe you so yeah you could say i'm self-diagnosed even though i have like backup from several doctors and whatever who said yes it, it's definitely there and i have like i was tested on different things adhd and um autism things when i was younger but it was disregarded because i i'm born female so like you know i'm still identifying as non-binary but i'm waiting for a certain um, law to be passed so that it's easier for me to get my non-binary stat status and like get my name legally changed to Liana By the way, for, for the people who don't know me. Hi, I'm Liana Although that's the body's name. Like I said, I have DID So a lot of traumatic stuff happened a lot um, There are some medical things going on like I suffered two heart attacks one last year at the end of the year one this year and due to a very, very highly traumatic situation in the, at the end of May this year, it's um, the 19th of July today, my system got kind of wrecked and my system, my DAD system got kind of wrecked and also um, I suffered the broken heart syndrome which is, it might, it might sound like romantic or whatever, it is not. It's terrible. Um, and it almost killed me. Um, the previous host, Nyx, you don't, I don't think you know them. Maybe you know them from like a few ASMR videos, which I will probably upload once in a while because people like them. So if you have any ideas for ASMR videos, just leave them down below and I will like, look through them and maybe do them um yeah apart from that like we had liana as a host then lee came lee then came nux and now i'm here so i will introduce myself now i'm dawn i'm the host of the dd system that you're seeing right now currently we are going by the um by the nameless canvas flock as a system name and the body's name we, we go by liana and yeah I don't know if there's much to say about me. Maybe I will do like meet the altar, some kind of thing. Maybe I will do like two videos per week or something at some point. I don't know that yet. I will try to do one video a week because I have two other channels, technically three, where I will be uploading things. I will, I'm trying to work on like a channel where I can upload like, I have the channel already, but still, um, food diaries. Um, I haven't uploaded a video yet though, I think the mail is coming that makes me anxious really anxious sorry um just a second sorry about that the mail is just leaving right now um it just makes me really anxious if people could hear me in my own apartment yes it's my own apartment but yeah um i don't know where i left off all my other channels like i'm setting up like a food channel kind of deal um what I eat like you know but I'm currently uploading on two separate German channels uh, videos my oldest channel about books and tea and creativity and candles I won't pick it up but there's a Yankee candle right there and there's like some handmade wax in a, in a lamp in the bathroom um, yeah things I'm passionate about I started scrapbooking as well um, yeah 
and the other channel is about my rebounds and whatever and I'll just use this channel for everything more real like not just an aspect just like I will just full blow out and be myself try to be myself as much as I can on this channel I know there are people from way back from the times where I uploaded what I eat in the days and there are people like who have known me throughout my recovery phases and even p friends of mine that I found during this like if you like if some of you watch this know that I love you guys um, yeah so like like I said I'm planning on doing some follow me around videos like follow my day-to-day -day life with all these illnesses all these complications but I'm trying to make the best out of it and I'm still like jumping from topic to topic by now we all know why that is because of like my bad memory and my autism but you know um, <coughs> yeah I will probably like do some meet the altar videos and yeah I just need a moment to collect myself I'm sorry it's so strange for me to be like filming in English again but it feels so much more natural of course there will always be like a trigger warning for all my videos because my life is usually very eventful when things happen it's usually nothing good but like that's just how my life is and it's realistic because it's literally my real life um, my situation is the following I'm I have gone through a lot and I lost most of the people I, I had I learned a lot about my past, um, a lot of people died, a lot of people left, a lot of people changed, including myself. Um, I'm trying to live in today, not yesterday or tomorrow, but like for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna uh, just talk a little bit about different things, so yeah. Um, my apartment is still a mess, not as bad as it used to be, but it's still a mess and I'm working on it daily to get things to better things. But at the moment, like the past three or four days, I have been not feeling up to do anything. Like, I have like usually a to-do list that is extremely long and everything, but I'm just trying to get through the days, do the things that I need to do, try to focus on a little bit more mindfulness, try to incorporate things that bring me joy a little bit at least maybe playing The Sims, Minecraft, some other games on the PC, reading books, um, making plans, meal planning because that's something that I'm interested in, um, doing some stuff with the Reborns, uh, scrapbooking, doing art, whatever. I like these things and I will definitely include them on this channel, like you will see my various interests on here I guess. And I'll also take you with me while we clean up because next year, January, February, I will finally renovate my apartment and um, if I can make it like that way I want to turn it into like a fairy core kinda friend Bo, Clara Mia wife's kinda apartment. Um, yeah. I want to update you on the bunnies as well like I think we all know by now that Twiggy isn't around anymore. Twiggy is this bunny. There are some videos on her of her on my channel. Tiramisu went like and lived with my ex-boyfriend. She sadly passed away last December. Katze or like Tiku, her, she is still around. She is, uh, she, she struggled a little bit with arthritis, but it's fine. She gets medications for it, and she is big. She is beautiful. She is my princess. Um, she has a partner. His name is Tamo. Uh, we rescued him two years ago, three years ago at this point. He's five and a half. Tiku is six and a half. Um, Tamu needed emergency surgery back then. He only has one eye left, which she's doing great with. It's no problem at all. Like Those two get along very well. Even though Tiku usually doesn't really like other bunnies, she usually hates them, to be honest. And But those two get along very well. Uh, but Tamo has had like a lot of medical issues lately, so like the vet bills have been very expensive So that's a thing I'll take you with me through my life as a vegetarian as well and as someone who struggles with um, 
buy addiction or shopping addiction and yeah as someone who now knows that I shouldn't have trusted certain people because certain people put me into debt sometimes my own decisions but also other people and yeah also a trigger warning for the next part I'm going to talk about something very very triggering in the sense of abuse and sexual stuff so f feel free to skip out or like skip a few seconds moments ahead yeah in the year of like last year I think it was last year was it last year I think so 2022 um, in the start of the year we got assaulted and are worded um, we didn't know at that time but like later we found out it broke two of our ribs and then my back then fiance left because she f they sorry they fell in love with someone else and the situation was just not good so they wanted to leave as soon as possible um, yeah now we are very close I love them a lot I think they love me a lot too but I can't really experience when people love me so I'm like I guess they say it they'll probably watch this video so like I'm, I'm like you know um, I lived with a roommate for some time who destroyed a lot of things who's also the person who put me in a lot of debt and now I'm struggling for survive to survive I'm struggling with food I'm struggling with the loss of like people that meant the world to me <laughs> and yes I did move while having broken ribs we found out some time later um, I'm yeah I got back in contact with my biological father who destroyed whatever was left after that what what was destroyed at the end of May so you can imagine what happened and yeah a lot of things are going on this channel will be me and the altars um, I say I'm a lot, I'm sorry for that. But I want to be honest and open, I want to document my journey. Because maybe it's going to help someone. I do struggle with, I don't struggle with it, my doctors struggle with it. Like I take a lot of medications and they don't know what to put me on. And currently I take a lot of medications for pain because um, something that they don't know where the pain is coming from so they say like I came up with it but I get very strong painkillers to even get out of bed in the morning because I can't move because I feel that old physically even though I as an alter I'm 16 years old but the body feels like 80 maybe 90 <laughs> something like that so I get painkillers I get um, downers so like you know anxiety medications and sleep medications and they're still like not sure what to put me on and I don't trust any of them because they all like say things that don't really make sense and they don't listen to me and just all the trauma, the medical trauma that I've had as a child came back up. I also remember most of what happened to me as a child and let's just say my family is just, we, I, sh I technically shouldn't be in contact with them but that's easier said than done. And yeah. So there is like things I don't like to be sober I like to be on my medications because they help me get through the day to exist and I fight every single day to continue and usually I don't allow myself to have to be this this emotional anymore <laughs> I'm like hyper a lot and I have like my plans and I usually work out a little bit because of my pain and whatever I need to like I do, do mainly stretching and some fun dancing and stuff to get my my happy hormones up again um, yeah I don't know what else to say if I read like English books or something I might actually show you like hey about English books I will review them or whatever but I won't be buying a lot of things so like I'll try to save as much as I can 
to pay off my debt, my bills, whatever, to not get homeless. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys will, I don't know, support me in my journey or maybe feel supported by knowing that there's someone out there who is struggling as well and that you're not alone with certain things and that certain illnesses doesn't don't mean that you're like the spawn of Satan or whatever what society makes you out to be or what doctors make you out to be. You are not. It doesn't matter what kind of illness it is. It just matters what you are like, how you take it on and how it affects you. Like, of course, like some illnesses will affect you more than others. And I struggle a lot with like, you know, the, the psychopath part of like, I don't call it antisocial personality disorder when I think about it myself. So like I call it my psychopath brain. Um, I struggle a lot to like keep it under wrap as well as my borderline brain, um, which are parts of me. But I know that I have to keep it on a rep, but I can't always, like, sometimes I will get loud and I, I will unreasonably be, like, angry or something or upset. And sometimes I will be like, I am the most confident person in the world because you all suck kind of deal. But I try to keep things at a more healthy range, but it's a live, a live and you learn experience kind of deal. And I'm not the devil for it, even though people want to make it out to be. Um, yeah. I don't think that there is much else to say. I'm looking forward for more like lighthearted videos. This one will be an 18 plus age restricted video, of course, because of the topics in here. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in another video. I will be working on like intros, outros, whatever later at the point where I'm mentally in a place where I can do that. So like I want my videos to become more aesthetic because it's a goal of mine to healthily or maybe not so healthy i don't know romanticize my life a little bit more to feel more content with myself and with my life and with my apartment and that's my main goal like to get things done it's so important to me so yeah see you guys next time bye witches